What is up you guys, it's Violet Taylor here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, we are back for the item shop switchover. This is going to be Monday night, taking this into Tuesday. I believe that is the end of Easter now. Obviously, the kids still have like another week off. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed your weekend, especially those that you that work. But yeah, pretty much, as you guys can see, we had some really cool items return last night. But what we're going to get tonight in three, two, one, let's go! Very delayed, very delayed, but you know what it is. Ooh, we got another new, new emote. I will definitely take that. So, as you guys can see, we have Rootin' Tootin'. So, let's check out this emote. Can I get a yeehaw? Jeez! I like that. I like that. You know why? Because I can use that on my... Um, Oh shit, what's his name? Butterbun, 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 Butterbun. Man cake. I can use that on my man cake skin. Pretty damn cool emote. I like that one. I like that one. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the legendary Red Knight, which I feel like we've had her like what? Last week? Maybe? Or I might just be seeing the skins that often. But anyway, with legendary Red Knight, the Red Menace of Anarchy Acres, part of the Fort Knights set, first introduced in OG season one. Super, super OG. Everybody has her. Everybody in their mother has her. I don't have her on this account, but uh, I will eventually. I've got other skins to get first. Moving us on to the back bling, the legendary red shield. The red knight's legendary shield. Again, looking very, very mwah, chef kiss. Badass. First introduced two seasons after the original skin, though, which is the way they did things back then. It's the way they do things now as well, actually. But anyway, moving us on to the last item for this little set. We have the crimson axe. Wield, Smite, Repeat. First introduced a season after the Bat Bling in the OG Season 4. Moving us away from this, however, we have the return of the Duggo Skin. Jumping in. Who's a Good Boy? Part of the Grumble Gang set. First introduced in the OG Season 9. Three styles. We have the default, which everybody knows and loves. We have the festive version. Pretty damn cool. I like this one. And then last but not least, one of my favourites is the Militia version. Again, big fan, pardon me, a big fan of the pouches and the tactical look. Pretty damn cool. I like it. Moving us on to the Bat Bling, we have the Chow Down. Stay hungry. First introduced in OG Season 9. As you guys can see, his dog bowl does say Odin. Okay, you heard it here first. Anyway, moving us away from that, we have the return of the Doggy Bag. Take it to go. Part of the Grumble Gang set. First introduced in what season? Chapter 2, Season 2. You already heard it here first. And obviously that was my favourite season. But yeah, as you guys can see, we got two bones on the go. We got two grenades on the go. We got a nice little pouch there for some uh, Scooby Snacks, you know. Patent pending for Fortnite. <laughs> anyway, moving us on to the return of the last two items for the Doggo. We have the Golden Chew Toy. Unburied Treasure. Again, absolutely badass. Chef's kiss for this one, absolutely amazing. Because you could kind of use it for like the dinosaur skins as well, I suppose. But anyway, first, moving on to the uh, rough wrap, which suits the base doggo skin really well. Again, oh sorry, it's not animated or reactive, but again, it looks pretty damn cool. I like it. Mmm. I'd say you take the gold bits off and on a sniper it looks mwah, 10 out of 10. Yes, I know, I say everything looks amazing on a sniper, which it does, it does look pretty cool. But moving us away from that, we have the second half of the featured store where you guys can see we have the return of four Icon Series emotes and they are all from the same person. So, starting us off, we have the return of the Wake Up. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, apparently he doesn't want to dance. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. First introduced to Chapter 3, Season 6. I think this is from Ao and Tetch, I think. Or A it's Ao and something, I can never remember the other guy's name. But anyway, moving us into the synchronized emote, My World. Girl, you fly, Shake your feathers. First one to do again in chapter two, season six. Like Rose up, petals. Are you a rock star? Heavy metal. Jeez! Moving us on to the return of the second to last, we have the Roly. Dab of Ranch, Roly, not included. First introduced in chapter two, season four. Moving away from that, we have the last emote, synchronized emote, last forever. Who said love don't last forever? First introduced in chapter two, season four, the Marvel season. Hey, what you wanna fly? Yeah, boom, boom, jeez. 
Moving us on to one of my favourite, favourite skins. We are the return of, you guessed it, the Hay skin. A dark star on the rise. Part of the Midnight Star set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1. Now, we do have four styles for this skin. It didn't show the third one, but anyway, we've got the default. We've got the Demon version. We've got the Ulrich Haze. And then we've got what I like to call the Four Leaf Clover version. But obviously the, the Demon, or sorry, Auric Demon, I'll say. But guys, man... You know, you guys know what's coming, don't you? We gotta say, I gotta say, we like those, baby, because this skin, in all three forms, has got those cheeks, and she'll be looking damn fine while doing it. I'm very, very, I'm very, very like, what's the word I always use? I'm very, very, I can't think of the word, but yeah, I like her because she's a goth skin. Like, I'm very, very, it's my weakness. But anyway, moving away from that. We have the return of the Ridge Bat Bat Bling, forged in eternal fire. Again, we do have three styles. The obviously demonic version, we have the Auric Haze version, and then we have the demon Auric Haze version, or the Shamrock Auric Haze, because it's pretty much got the four leaf clovers on there. So you can kind of use multitude of ways to describe it. But anyway, moving us on to the return of the Star Shot Harvesting Tool with another three styles. You've got Star Power, part of the Midnight Star set. First introduced in the same time, Chapter 2, Season 1. So yeah, we pretty much got the default. We have the all gold. And then we have the black and gold, which I think is pretty damn cool. Moving us away from this, we have the return of the Daily Store. And we got some pretty damn cool skins in here. So, moving us on to the return of the Shore Leaf skin. Hit the beach and make some waves. First introduced in Chapter 2, Season 3. Kind of looks like Clint Barton with the goggles and the mask there. I don't think it's just me. But anyway, two styles. We have the default with the hood down. And then we have the alternate with the hooded up. Again, I kind of like the hooded up more than the default version. Moving us on to his bat bling, we have the Dune Tripper. There's even a little pouch for sunscreen. Hey, they weren't lying. They weren't lying. Very interested to see why he's got a uh, shot baton, but you know what? We're not going to ask. This is Fortnite, and uh, all things have their uses. Now, moving us away from this, we have the return of the Terra skin. Definitely one to grab for sure. So anyway, enough planning. It's time for action. Part of the Artificial Evolved set. First introduced in what season? You already heard it at first. Chats to season two, baby! Well, you didn't hear it at first, but it's on my channel. But anyway, I make the rules. You come here for me. But anyway, we have the default with the yellow. Again, loving the kind of like see-through there as well. It looks absolutely amazing. Loving the kind of like scouter. So she looks like she's literally looking for someone with a power level or a build level of 9,000. Anyway, we have the alter ego version. Again, loving the light teal there. Loving the purple as well. Very biased. That's the word I was looking for. I'm very biased because uh, Haven... Oh, no, sorry, not Haven. What am I talking about? You know, you have to take that minute pause to say, what are you talking about? But anyway, she looks absolutely fuego. Really, really like this skin. You can have the glow on or the glow off, by the way. So if you guys don't like the glow on the skin, you can have it on and have it off. But yeah, pretty damn cool. Moving us away from this, we have the Puma Pack Back Bling. Growl and Glow. Again, part of the Artificial Evolve set. Pretty much the same. We have the default. Then we have the Alter Ego version, which looks very, very cool. Absolutely love this. Again, you can have the glow on and the glow off if you guys aren't interested in the glow. Some are, some aren't. But I like the fact that you get the option to do so or not do so. But anyway, moving away from this, we have the return of another Icon Series emote, or two for that matter. So we have a total of what is we, what, six in the item shop tonight. But anyway, we have the return of the Hit It emote. I think we got a winner. First introduction track to season six. That should belong up there with AO and thingy because I'm sure that's part of their little um, emote set. But anyway, as we have the return of another icon series emote, don't start now. I'm better on the other side. First introduction chapter two season four. The season this chapter two season five. The season before the hit it. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's deep dust. How do you pronounce the name again? Some people pronounce it differently. I just call it Dear Looper um, for short. But anyway, we have the return of the Traversal Shanty for a Squad emote. 
Keep the tempo and catch the wave. First also introduced in Chapter 2 Season 5, it is traversal and synchronised. So the group emote, joining the song with other players who are using the Shanty for a Squad emote. Jeez! Last but not least, we have the return of the Sun Sprout back bling. Perfectly sunny, part of the Fatal Field is set first introduced in the OG Season 1. Does everybody remember Fatal Fields? Seems like such a long time away now. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the Coachella bundle, which is the last bundle we have in the item shop. Pretty damn cool. Again, definitely recommend grabbing this. I don't think this will be here that much longer because I think Bob Coachella is over now in America. But yeah, pretty much that was the item shop for Monday night. Pretty damn cool item shop. We have a brand new emote. We have the return of some Icon Series emotes. The Haze. I'm very biased because she's gothic. That's what I meant originally meant to say. But yeah, some pretty damn cool skins. So yeah, guys, that was the item shop for tonight. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to smash the like button. If you did like the video, let me know in the comments down below why you didn't enjoy the video. Also, if you guys did enjoy the video, please let me know which um, was your favourite skin from tonight's item shop. But anyway, if, you, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join Team Let's Catch a Vibe. If you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notified as soon as I upload. But more importantly, don't forget to stay with me and I'll catch you all on the island. Peace.